There are cases where you may want to print a design on a separate printer and then cut a contour around the outside of the design, as might be the case when you are creating stickers or transfer paper designs where the edges of the printed object need to be removed. In order to know exactly where to cut, the cutter looks for registration marks that are printed around the outside edges of the design. For best results, it is advised to use an image that does not have a background, as might be the case when using a PNG file that has been created with an alpha channel transparency. After placing our bird PNG file on the page, we select the red apple icon from the top line icons and then select the Contour Cutting Wizard. We can click on the tabs to show us what will be printed and what will be cut. Since we have not yet processed the image, we can see that there is no cut line around the bird yet. Pressing the Build button brings up a window where the software has detected an image made up of pixels instead of vectors, and it offers to find the edges of the image and draw contour lines around it. When creating a trace of the image, you can either trace only the outside of the image, or we can check the box that says Keep Holes if our image has a hole somewhere on the inside that we wish to cut. Since our bird is a solid design, and it does not have any vacant areas in the middle, it does not matter what we do with the keep holes option. The initial trace lines will be exactly on the edges of the image, but we are able to adjust the trace line to be larger than the image by changing the outline percent value. If desired, we can also set a negative outline value if we want the trace line to cut inside the image. The L marks in the four corners are the registration marks that will be printed so that the cutter's sensor can read the marks and know exactly where to cut around the image. For best print resolution, you should print a PDF file. However, regardless of how you print the image, it is important that you print the image at actual size, because some printers like to resize the image to fit better on the paper. For example, on the printer we are using here, it wants to resize pages, so we need to select the Actual Size option. The screen that shows these settings might look different for your printer, so you may need to look in the Printer Preferences for an Actual Size setting. After you have printed your design with the L-shaped registration marks, you can place it in your cutter with a small arrow on the printed page pointing toward the front of the cutter. Position the cutter's carrier head so that the blade will now come down just slightly outside of the lower right L-shaped registration mark. The flashing target in the software provides a hint of how to position the cutter blade beside the lower right registration mark on the printed paper. Pressing Next will get the cutter ready to read all four L-shaped registration marks and then cut a precise contour around the printed object.